A man who claimed to have helped Tupac fake his death in 1996 says he also faked his own death to prove the rapper is still alive. Michael Nice, who is Tupac's former bodyguard, was reported to have died in December 2018, however, it appears he has now risen from the dead to put the record straight. The former security guard first hit headlines when he sensationally claimed the Tupac was smuggled into Cuba with the help of former President Fidel Castro just. However, before Michael was set to drop the all-important evidence, Icini Studios posted a bizarre clip saying he had been found dead on December 18. They claim they spoke to his brother, a man called Johnny, who dubbed Michael's apparent and sudden death as suspicious. Tupac's wild conspiracy theories from faking own death to drastic career change he was found slumped at his wheel and was pronounced dead at the scene. Reports came back saying natural causes but earlier that night, he told me he was going to a meeting and he wasn't too happy about it. He then bizarrely added, I suspect he was having a meeting with MI5 agents and Michael Nice was poisoned. But since then, Michael has apparently resurrected from the dead to speak out in a video uploaded to YouTube. He told viewers, My name's Michael Nice. I faked my death on the 18th of December, 2018 and I'm here today, back from the dead to show why and how I faked my death. I'm going to put the record straight, he continued to acknowledge that his reappearance would be a shock to all the people who know me but said he would explain everything in due course. I confess I faked my death and I feel quite ashamed about it but it had to be done and I'm here now to explain the reasons why, he continued. Michael added that faking his own death proved that he had the capabilities to fake Tupac's death while also sharing that he had been receiving death threats before he died and would be dead now if he hadn't faked his demise. He then went into detail explaining how he pulled off the stunt, saying he had arranged for an ambulance to collect him after he faked his death and that he'd used a magic trick he'd learnt during his younger years to stop his pulse. Don't miss! Harry has unexpected Gil Biden relationship. Despite Air Force One humiliation, latest, Jamie Lynn Spears has nothing but love for sister Britney after crisis talks, latest, Killian Murphy pronunciation and unexpected meaning behind his name explained, latest, his body was then taken to the hospital and a contact from a funeral home came to pick him up, replacing Michael's, very much alive body, with an actual corpse to be taken to the morgue while he escaped. I laid low for a year and I'm back now to tell my story, put things straight and get on with the mission," he dramatically stated. Michael previously told TMZ, why you think nobody been arrested if they said they the one that killed Tupac? The identity of the chart topper's killer has remained a mystery for more than two decades and no charges have ever been brought. However, just days ago, the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department searched a home in Henderson, Nevada, less than 20 miles from the Las Vegas Strip where the 25-year-old rapper was murdered in a drive-by shooting. LVMPD can confirm a search warrant was served in Henderson, Nevada on July 17, 2023. As part of the ongoing Tupac Shakur homicide investigation, Las Vegas police said in a statement. Dwayne Keith Davis, 60, also known as Keefe D or Cafe D, was reportedly the target of the warrant in which police also searched desktops and other electronic storage devices such as thumb drives, CDs, external hard drives and audio recordings, NBC reports. No further details have been revealed as of yet, 